always been uh, clamoring for some sort of uh, structural adjustment of the country's governance um, uh, mechanisms for many years. Nigeria came independent in 1960. And uh, between that time and 1966, the country enjoyed stability. And uh, under the 1960 constitution, the regions were autonomous, as it were, and paid taxes to the center and kept most of the revenues. That was how come the West, Southwest could develop Cocoa House. The North had Grand Pyramids. And Ibadan had the first TV in Africa in 1957. And the East had palm oil and the, the built um, uh, structures on Daokwara. Uh, but after the interregnum and the coup that occurred and civil wars that came, Nigeria became more unitary, where functions of the states were taken to the center. And the slide uh, to underdevelopment and poverty began effectively. Um, I believe that our structure uh, can be made more efficient. We can onboard in the center and revert back to the old structure that appeared to work under which Nigeria knew progress, under which we are at par with countries like Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, who have today left us far behind. Um, those who argue that what Nigeria needs is good leadership and not uh, it, um, uh, restructuring. My answer is simple. Uh, are they saying that from Tafar Belewa, Azikiwe, uh, Ironsi, Gowan, Motala, Shagari, Obasanjo in his first coming, Buhari in his first coming, and the second comings, Yaladwa, uh, good luck, Sh Shagari, Shoneko, Abacha, Abisalami, that nobody has been good. Uh, if these leaders are perceived as having, in some degree, not done well, uh, I think that the problem is not in those leaders. I think it's in the structure. And that even if you bring an angel to govern Nigeria under the structure, they may still fail. It will be the, it will be the issue of level of failure, whether it will be woeful or average failure, but they will still fail because the structure cannot work. The structure does not bring out the best Nigerians. Uh, if Nigerians believe that they have justice, they have equity, uh, and we address these issues, Nigerians are creative people. They're very industrious. They can grow this economy in multiples in a short time. Uh, so, but they need to bring government near the masses. The structure we have currently, uh, where the center is responsible for everything, where the state has to tell the Ministry of Works and Power to repair the road to their own airport, and where the federal government owns the airport in Kano, and owns the waterways in the river state, and the, and the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, or water resources, runs Hadija River Basin. Uh, when Kano they can do so by themselves, as they did effectively under Baku. Uh, so it is obvious that uh, this structure is not going to work. Uh, look at the police force that is so centralized. They're doing their best, they're fighting crime, but it would be better if there was some introduction of state enhancement of the structure where, where the states have some responsibility in maintaining security within their own domains, where they can engage locals who know the terrains very well to assist in crime prevention. Uh, you know, at times, policing is most effective when you prevent the crime, not when you fight the crime. Uh, before it happens, uh, it's prevented. For instance, in England, the policemen, before terrorism came into the picture, hardly carried guns. But crime was ma managed because they had information. They knew the localities very well. They had informants within the localities. And they could prevent crime before they even occurred. As you're planning, they, have, they, have, they hear about it, and they arrest you. So they prevent the crime, not to report at the crime scene after many have been killed. That is not the kind of policing. We want proactive policing, and there must be a state component to it to assist the central police. The fear of some is that, uh, that governors may use it oppressively against their enemies. 
But even if even the one it is now, many governors who want to go to the enemies can still do so. And they can procure petitions against their opponents, uh, and even ministers can do so, and they can oppress people still uh, with their influence and their capacity and their media investments. They can do those, those things. So I think what you could do is you could have central oversight uh, to ensure that there's no abuse of that structure. So I, I believe that the structure we have has produced derelict infrastructure, poverty, high maternal mortality. Uh, we are falling back in almost every index because the structure is wrong. And I believe that Nigeria, Nigeria's future is not even in oil. It's in solid minerals. So no state in this country that cannot survive by itself. But I think we should find a way to rework our structure and the, the National Assembly can start the process uh, in the Constitution Amendment um, uh, um, uh, engagements and begin to unbundle the center. An example of unbundling is, is NITEL. Before now, to get the phone line, you had to go and pay bribe and queue up for many days when we had NITEL. In fact, when people had phones when I was in Lagos, I was young in Lagos, I had a number that worked between 6 and 2 p.m. And from 2 p.m. to the next day, it ran somewhere else. And after a while, I saw, I saw that my number had another one as well. You know, so that was high. But now I can buy three phones today if I want, because we have unbundled it. So that is the efficiency you get when you unbundle. So let us try to see it from that perspective. Those who are opposed to structuring, saying that, oh, that those who are clamoring for it are those who, are, uh, who, want, uh, who perhaps are out of power, blah, blah, blah. that's not the issue. The clamor has been on for a long time. In our own time, in 1999, we began an amendment of the Constitution to also achieve the structuring, and then we empower ourselves. So I think it's a, uh, it's a good debate. I, so I, 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 am, uh, I commend those who have stood up for what is right. It's, it is an unjust interest. It will enhance our unity. It will make us more productive. It will ensure that we have great jobs for our youths. The biggest problem for Nigeria now is the amount of young people who are jobless. We must rebuild the economy. So the still part of uh, restructuring. You, you have just suggested now that the center should do more of oversight. Are you of the view that we should go back to regional base? Well, well, you see, regionalism, at that point, we had six regions, at that point. Um, no, I think, no, 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 sorry, we had three, we had three regions, three, three regions. Um, now we've gone beyond that point, we now have states. Uh, so you can look at the states at the federation units. Don't forget that federalism, by definition, means that states or regions are almost independent, autonomous, and the center maintains defense and foreign policy and overseas development. So even the way we run the federalism is a caricature of, the de of, 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 of its definition. So we should revert to regional, regionalism, but not with the regions anymore as the units, but now states, because we have capped states out of regions. Still of the structures. <coughs> Most of the things were highlighted during the 2040 conference. Yes. Actually, restructuring mm. formed major issues at the conference yes. because I covered it. Yes. What is your take on that conference? And two, the Senate recently said the executive should forward to it as a bill of the 2014 conference. Your take, sir? Well, I was a member of that conference. Yes. And um, I believe that it was well intentioned, even though it came late. So it looked like it was political. If they had been, if they began it much earlier, they wouldn't have had a coloration. Uh, and then they should allow, next time in doing confabs, perhaps they should allow more autonomy in the selection of those who represent the various states and regions. The people of those areas must be the ones to choose. Uh, that, that, these are the issues that perhaps we, 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 we should have looked more critically at. But on the whole, with a good report, and I think that the government can forward a bill with relevant amendments to the National Assembly as a starting point. Because uh, I think most people who are patriotic are agreed that Nigeria must be structured. Whether they're from the north or the south or the west or the east, 
So do you think that document can stand uh, as a, a working document for the restructuring you are talking about? In of course, of course. Every document for the National Assembly is a working document. They can amend as they see fit. They can add and remove as they see fit. And then they can discuss the fears of the various... Uh, and where I think where we are now, we have many groups talking. We have uh, uh, the Southern Forum talking, the Pandev talking, we have the uh, Arewa talking. I think talking to, them, talking, talking to the media, I think it's now, now time to talk to themselves. So we should convene a, 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 a mini summit of leaders uh, to discuss these matters face to face and openly and allay each other's fears to assist our lawmakers and guide them in how they should structure their, their engagement on this uh, process. Um, some people have the opinion that uh, the last confab uh, that took place in the country, uh, the document that they put forward, uh, is not a document that the current government will embrace, being that they did not participate during that confab. So what's your take on that? Mm -hmm. Well, but you see, governance is, is a continuum. Um, when you assume an office, you can't abandon the projects of the other government because you didn't initiate them. Some projects you will see that are good for people, you will, even though you didn't take part in that process, initiation, you can still bring them on board to consider. So I, I believe that uh, at some point, uh, they will see that the logic is very clear that Nigerians are clamoring for restructuring and that uh, the latest working document, the 2014 CONFAB, uh, to, to discard it, it may not be entirely uh, appropriate. I want to take you back to the mini, mini summit of elders. Who should be, who should form this summit, who should convey this summit? Mm -hmm. What will this summit bring that will be different from the 2014 CONFAB that had mm -hmm. The oldest, the youngest, everybody in this country mm -hmm. has members. No, no, let me perhaps make it clearer. Okay. What I meant was um, uh, a dialogue to calm nerves. Uh, it's not a dialogue to recommend because we already know where we should be going to. It's a dialogue to calm nerves and to allay fears. It's to ask ourselves, not just elders, also of uh, stakeholders, uh, because after all, the majority of people in Nigeria are youths, they must be there to sit down on the table and say, okay, you are from uh, the Southwest, I'm from the South-South, you're from the Northwest. What is your fear about structuring? Let's, let's be able to find a forum to calm nerves and to reassure ourselves and to reemphasize our unity and that our unity in diversity based on justice and equity. Uh, some people say mm -hmm. the, uh, the uh, clamor for structuring is vague. That what should be the templates for mm -hmm. structuring? Well, well you, see, you see, we should stop looking for excuses and looking for reasons why things cannot work. We should find ways to make things work. Even where they're vague and you mean well, as you add your, make it more specific, you clarify for them. It is not vague. All of us have talked about it in various ways. And the examples are many. So the argument that is vague doesn't nullify the cogency of restructuring. It's, 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 it's vague, so join us to define it. I've given you a plethora of examples already today. Others well, have their own examples. Just put them all in a basket and begin with some of them. You know, you know it, it, it's a big uh, process, but you begin it gradually. Okay. Yes. 